Hey everybody, so I did tell you I was going to be back with more videos and today I'm here with my friend Alice and we've compiled a list of 13 ways to make yourself feel better on a bad day. So get ready. So number one on our list is of course to watch a Disney film. Now for those of you on my channel you will know that Disney plays a massive part in my life which you can check out later if you really want to but there's nothing better than a Disney film to help shake those blues away, I would think. What's your go-to Disney film? Oh, that's a hard one. I would Tangled came to mind there when okay. you asked me. Good choice. What about yourself? Um, probably The Emperor's New Groove, just because it's so funny. That is so funny. I love it. So something I always like to do when I'm not feeling my best is to make an effort to look nice. So you know those days you don't have any plans, you're feeling a bit bored, but sometimes just putting on your favourite top, wearing yeah. a nice lipstick, it just really brightens up your perception of yourself and then it really makes your day go in a lot better. I would definitely agree with that. Even when you don't have to make an effort, sometimes that's when you do your best makeup <laughs> and you feel you like it's been <laughs> gone to waste. So number three on our list is to go eat some comfort food. That pizza that you've had your eye on all week or that cake, it, it all makes everything that bit better. You have to treat yourself once in a while. Even if you're on a diet, there's nothing wrong with having a slice of pizza. Or, or ten. Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, another thing I think is a really good way to cheer yourself up is just to surround yourself with good people. Whether that's yeah. your good friends, if you have a boyfriend, your sister, even your dog. Anyone who makes you feel good about yourself is a good person to spend time with. Definitely, having that one person or even many people, just it takes your mind off things. And sometimes all you need to do is tell someone a problem and it starts to not seem so bad. A problem shared is a problem half. So next on our list is to treat yourself to something nice. So those shoes you've been looking at, that dress, that skirt, that top, that bag, um, it's definitely worth just shelling it out. What's 30 pound at the end of the day if it's gonna brighten up your day or week? So we've already talked about Disney films, but Disney isn't the only genre that can cheer you up. <laughs> Personally, I avoid rom-coms. I can't think of anything worse. I like to shove on a good comedy, yes. good drama, something that's really well written that is going to take your mind off whatever's happening and just make you feel a bit more optimistic about the world. Your go-to film? Oh, my go-to film. I don't know. Mean Girls is always a good one. Love that Mean Girls. Yeah. It would have to be either... Um, 27 dresses for me. Next up, we decided that there's nothing better sometimes than having a good long soak in the tub. That bath bomb that you've had sat in the cupboard for a while might finally come in some good use if it's just going to relax your mind. Now if you're like me and you don't have a bath, sometimes <laughs> a long shower can be just as nice. Put on some music, get singing away, indulge in some really fruity shower gel. Yeah, like that scene in Easy with Emma Stone good enough for Emma Stone, it's good enough for us. Definitely. So another great way to cheer up is to shove on your favourite album, especially if it's of the cheesy variety. Bit of S Club 7 maybe, Backstreet Boys, something you can sing along to, play Britney. in the car. Britney is a good choice. Yeah, definitely. Just take yourself back to when your days were carefree. Now, it's something that I've loved to do for many years, and I've dropped since, but I need to pick it back up, is a good book. Um, there's nothing better than somebody else's words and imagination. Just taking yourself off to a far off place can sometimes just help set your mind at ease. Now something I often do if I'm not feeling that great is to just give my mum a phone. I mean, yeah. it doesn't matter how old you are, your mum's always there for you, or your dad, or your sister, someone in your family who really understands you, and no matter what you've done, they still think you are the best. They're not going to judge you at the end of the day, are they? Exactly. Well, they might do, but they won't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes what I like to do is go on a nice walk, whether it's on a sunny day or whether it's a bit cloudy, there's nothing better than just getting out into nature and cleaning away those cobwebs. And a slightly unusual way to cheer yourself up, but I promise you it does work, is to be nice to someone else. So whether that's liking all your friends' selfies, yeah. maybe offering a hand to a friend who needs help with a project, just Going out of your way to help someone else not only makes them feel good, but it makes you feel good about yourself. You might even get a compliment back. You might. So that's it for today's video. This has been our list of things to do to cheer yourself up when things are not going so well. 
If you have any of your own ideas, please do share them with us in the comments. And we will see you next time. So stay tuned. Bye.